Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are back. Another episode here of the Pantry Boys. We like talking food. You like talking food. I know Nikki Meats like talking food. Uh, Nikki Meats, you look absolutely, before we get into today's episode, you look from a, a background standpoint to the bucket has him, you look disheveled. I'm a wreck. I'm a wreck. I'm Just a wreck. A I got. I got- <laughs> I got Tuesday and Wednesday showing up on the calendar in the in the back back right corner over here. This this uh this background I got it's like the thing you get at Staples when you're doing a school project for yeah. science fair. And you know I the microphone connects to the to the MacBook, so I got to put the headphones on, and it makes me look like you know I'm I'm churning butter. But it's by all the right. way, hey, we're here. We have worn Roback golf apparel on every single episode. Every if we episode. don't, if we don't get sponsored by them, we're fucked. Yeah, we're fucked. We're I mean, we're totally, fucked. We are totally <laughs> screwed. Okay, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we, we we got a very we got a very special guest here today to to talk food. We got Tyler Cameron coming in, who to me, um, I I have full confidence saying this, probably the best looking male Easy. I've ever seen in my life. Probably the best. I mean, I remember one time I, I met him. I, I was on FaceTime with someone and, and he was there and he, he came onto the camera and I, I, I got like uh, I didn't get nervous, but I got like I got like chills almost. I was like, wow, he's gorgeous, man. Like he really is. He never Just, has a bad day. That guy You can't find the flaw to the guy. No, um, he was on The Bachelorette. He was a contestant on The Bachelorette. Went very far, far, actually didn't end up winning, but it kind of worked out better for him because he yes. came like a fan favorite, yes. popped off. I um, mean, yeah. just a beautiful, I mean, he's he's beautiful. Like, he's just beautiful. a beautiful man, and, and he's going to come on the podcast. He's going to talk food. I don't know what to expect with this guy. I really don't. I don't either, Nikki Meads. I, I think, look, we know we're going to get the energy. We're, we're going to get a good performance out of Tyler Cameron. But I, he is a foodie. He lo- loves himself Definitely some food. Yes. He's grilling on his patio in Jupiter, Florida every day. Can talk food. I just don't. I think Tyler Cameron, knowing him as well as I do, I think we're due for at least one or two cold takes from yeah, him. Yeah, and I wouldn't. I wouldn't put it past him. I really wouldn't. Like I said, I would And that's wild okay. Card. And that's okay. And that, but that's why we. That's why we do this. You know, it is I mean? why we do it. Last time I checked, he, you could definitely tell he's a foodie. He he posts a bunch of stuff. I think he also did the ABC Food Tours, if I'm not mistaken, with uh, Matt James. Yes, so yes, he, he so sure he's did. Been around cuisine. Yep. You know, you know, he knows uh, his way around the road. So I don't know what to expect because he is he's he's from Florida. And and you don't hear like New York. We got the bagels. We got the pizza. Yeah. We got all that sort of shit like Florida. OK, you got the seafood. Great. Yeah. But I don't know. Like they don't like they got oranges, but nothing's really coined in, in Florida. You're right. You know Kansas so City. I don't know what to expect at all. Kansas City's known for their barbecue. Seattle for their coffee. New Jersey, New York for pizza and bagels. What yeah. does Florida have? And I think we're going to find out, Nikki. We're, we're about to find out, and I'm excited. What we got to make sure we do is if we do get a Tyler Cameron cold take, although he's one of our guests, we want to make We got to let him know. We got to yeah. pounce. We got to yeah, pounce. No, and, 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 and that's the thing, too, like like coming here on out. Like if we bring someone on and they, and they give a cold take, I, I, we got to let them know. I mean, there's For no sure. – I mean, they got to know that what they just said is fucking ridiculous and, and there's consequences to pay. If you're going to come on the only podcast that talks about food the way we do and you bring on a cold take, there's there's going to be repercussions. The I mean, same I, way that we jump on each other. If exactly, one of us give a cold Got to hold each other accountable. Got to hold not, accountable. It's not. Listen, it's it's a great environment. But if you if you say something that that that's really a cold take, we're going to let you know. And it's almost better to admit it. You know what I mean? Oh, totally. To just totally own it. And we've learned that we've had a couple cold takes that we've then looked at and uh, been like, yeah. wow, that was extremely uh, yeah. cold. Meets, if we're going to hold the food accountable, we got to hold ourselves accountable. Exactly. Let's, let's, let's go ahead and bring on the big fella himself from The Bachelorette, the best looking man I think I've ever seen in my life. I have full confidence saying that. Let's bring in the big fella, Tyler Cameron, Jupiter, Florida. Let's give a nice warm round of applause there for Mr. Todd Cameron, ladies and gentlemen. There's the big fella. We're happy to see him. There's the big cat. Mr. Cameron, check in with the Pantry Boys. How we doing, big cat? You know, it's good. It's good to be part of the Pantry Boys today. Uh, well, what's on the menu? Now, me, I like what you did there. Is that a pun we just I, had? I mean, that's great. I mean, I think we just got a pun, Nikki yeah. Meats. Unbelievable. What's on the menu? TC, yeah. what, what we like about you, we try and align guys 
that speak our language, okay? We love food. You being a dear friend of mine, I know you love food. And, and I really do think you do speak our language. Something that I've noticed about you, though, TC, it almost seems like you, in your breakfast and lunch, you'll go healthy and then go for dinner is where you really That's have at idea. it. And I think when you get the workouts in that you get in, you could, like, I work out so that I can eat, you know, a ton. You get these big, great workouts in, and right. then you're free to kind of just eat whatever you want come dinner time. No, T? That's how, that's how, that's how you got to live, man. I work for the calories. I'd say. So I I'd eat say. so I can let it rip, you know? Yeah. So, that's, that's so the, the, the dessert menu is never not, not a choice. It's always an option. And do you think, too, at the same time, after you get a workout and with the way you look and how fit you are, that you have room to roam to where you could pretty much just do whatever you want to do food-wise? Exactly. I can always venture to my second stomach. I've always got room for dessert, you yes, know? Sir. Yes, so, sir. The, you know, the harder you work, the more you get to eat. You ever, you ever say to yourself, though, like, maybe I, I overdid it tonight? Like, maybe I, maybe I had too much? Yeah, that's a great question. Maybe, maybe I maybe. No, I no, no. Every time that I think I overdid it, that means I did it right. I mean, that's just a phenomenal answer. Phenomenal. I, I really can't, I can't I, I, follow I, I, it up. Sometimes I'm okay with feeling sick afterwards. You know, my, my stomach's, you know, I look, I look a little pregnant, but hey, you know. No, but I'm cool saying, like, like, do you ever think to yourself, like, oh, maybe I'm, I'll wake up, the abs won't be as visible tomorrow? Nah, we just get back to work. <sighs> now, can I throw another thing? Before we get your take, TC, I, another thing I want to throw at you, okay? Me and Nikki Meats have talked about this before. I find something very underrated to be the acai bowl. I think the acai bowl is up and coming. Not enough people are talking about it. They're starting to talk about it more. You now are working with three natives who apparently have perfected the acai yes, bowl. The, the, so, so there's a lot of imposters in this industry. There's a lot of people who just blend some strawberries, some blueberries, yep. acai them. berries together. They think they got an acai bowl, but they don't. Okay. They don't. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bro, bro, I'm, I'm well seasoned when it comes to making an acai bowl now. now what and is I know it? where a good one's at. Right. Now, what is it about an acai bowl that makes it like a, a, an authentic acai bowl? Yeah. See, do you see, look all, forward to the acai bowl? Oh, man. That's my treat. Yeah. Amen. That means Amen. I know when I have an acai bowl, it means I'm going to work. That's yes, sir. Yes, sir. So that's a lot of sugar. That's Talk, a lot of sugar yeah. to eat. So, so Talk I'm to going me. to work. Talk to me. Right. But the, the real acai bowls, the good ones, they're not frozen. They're not. They're not some package you blend. No, okay. they, they are. They are from Brazil. It's the good stuff. It's like a soft serve ice cream. You scoop out and you put it right wow. into your cup. Yeah. That's the good stuff. Okay. Everyone else that's got this blender. If you see a blender, run. Run, run from the. Run yeah. from the acai bowl. Yeah, I will say I, I've got an acai bowl. I got one from Trader Joe's. This was the other day, and I love Trader Joe's. It was horrid. It yeah, came horrid. back. It was not, it's like, it wasn't even an acai bowl. It was absolutely horrid. But something that I do want to suggest that me and my girlfriend do is the acai bowl on each other. Me is, I find it more as a dessert. I think the acai bowl cool take, to Bob. me is a dessert. I don't, I don't see it for breakfast. I get it. It's for breakfast. I see it as a dessert, Tyler Cameron. I see, see, some people see it as that, which is, hey, if that's what you want to do with it, I'm all for it. Go for it. The way I do it, I get my acai bowl. I eat it before I work out, before a long day of work. So I get the energy. I'm ready to go. I'm burning it fast. Yeah, I'm with you on that one, TC. I really am. Let me see, 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 see Robbie, you eat it, you eat it for dessert. That's how you get out of shape, my man. Yeah, probably. Amen. 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 No, no, he's right, Bob. No, he's right. Yeah, look, it's got to be detrimental to my health. Yeah. There's no question. Yeah, I just love it as a dessert. So, TC, what do you what do you got for us today on the pantry, boys? I, I want to hear. I want to hear what you got to offer. We uh, we, we, we don't cold. know what to expect. So, we really don't so know. You what guys, to you guys, you guys, are, you guys are both from the Northeast, Jersey. Yes, you know, yes. spend some time in the city. So, you guys are all super partial about your pizza, about your bagels. Okay, I'm here today to talk about bagels. Sure. Oh, I mean, you talk about I mean, talking our talk language, about. Nikki Meats. I, I mean, mean <laughs> holy shit, I've, I've had ready a, for you. I've had a lot of bagels. I've been, you know, you know, I've had L.A. bagels. I've had New York City bagels. I've had Jersey bagels. I've had Brooklyn bagels. I think the best bagels are, you know, you know, in New York City, the best ones there are in Brooklyn. But the best all-time bagel I had is found in a little quaint town called the Quest of Florida. And I don't want to hear about the New York City water. I don't want to hear about any of that bull crap. The best stuff is found right here in a little old town called the Quest of Florida. You get there at 8 a.m. Bill Parcells is sitting there chilling with his old his old man crew. 
you know, the best bagels. You go to the west of Florida, you'll find it. Mickey Cass, you've never been down to South Florida, so I don't yes, know why you Yes, I have. Yes, I, yes, you don't I even have. know. You don't even know what the fuss was until I said it today on this podcast. But it and doesn't Robbie matter. Berger, Robbie is, it, is, it a thi- is it a thin bagel or is this a thick no, no, bagel? No, no, no. Don't, don't disrespect me like that, Robbie. It's a thick bagel. It is a thick yeah, bagel. But, yeah. I just don't, I just, I mean, you're a culture guy, TC. No, I mean, like, what is it about the Florida bagel that separates it from anything from Jersey? And in the, I mean, you're going to piss a lot of people off. You are. By, this is a hot by what you just said. It's, I mean, this yeah, is. Yeah. But, but, but I'm saying that there's one spot that you have to go to that does it right. And once but you eat their bagels. It right? What makes it right? It's fluffy. It's doughy. Right. The, the everything, the everything season's got a little salt to it. Right. Okay. Okay. Let me ask it. Let me ask it, TC. No, no. But but what 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 makes it what makes it so ahead, right? Is the sandwich they make it in. It's a Tequesta Sunrise, bacon, okay. egg, cheese. But that's not it, guys. Okay. The real game changer here is the hash brown that goes okay. in there. Okay. Now that we're with you there. Okay. We're I'm with, with you I think on that. I think a hash brown on the bagel is a total total uh, game. A hash brown should be on every bagel. A hash brown is is probably the most important I, ingredient in a breakfast yeah. meal well i mean i would disagree with you that i think you ever, you put salt pepper ketchup on your breakfast sandwiches you put salt we put ketchup on your breakfast sandwich nicky cast it's a salt big northeast thing. it's a huge i will defend him there it's a big north nicky 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 no 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 we can't be doing you, this you might have to get removed from the pantry boys I, I ketchup on our breakfast sandwich it, it is a big northeast <laughs> thing salt now, pepper now ketchup. i'll do you one i'll do you one better put some yellow mustard on that thing Oh hits. no, no, on the oh, breakfast that's just sandwich, that's just Tyler sad. Cameron. Put yellow mustard on the breakfast sandwich, fellas. I want you to try this and I want you to get back to me. Oh, my oh that's terrible. God, he's how, doing that's, the how, mustard on the breakfast yeah. sandwich. I mean, how, can you, how can you disagree with salt, pepper, ketchup? The most common thing you and put on a fucking bacon egg with and cheese. Mustard. And then come, come at me with the yellow mustard. Thank you, Cass. Thank you, Cass. Because that's a rookie move right there, putting ketchup on there. I remember when I was. Move. I'm, You're talking I remember about I was in elementary school. They play put ketchup on your eggs so you can oh. eat. Oh, <laughs> you know, like I get, I get why you do it, but but we, but you know, you got to grow up a little bit, Nikki. You graduate college, you might try some mustard on your eggs. You know, <laughs> <laughs> now TC, but your your but do you ever just do a bagel with cream cheese? Yeah, yeah, you do. Oh, okay. Do you change the bagel based on if it's with cream cheese compared mm-hmm. to if it's on a breakfast? So. so- the breakfast sandwich bagel I get, bacon cheddar jalapeno on top. Oh, that's all I needed to know. That's all I needed to know about, about every take Whoa. you gave coming Whoa, on. All I needed to know hot. was he's what you just said. And then very right exotic. exotic. What the that is, fuck? That is what very, fuck? very exotic. Nikki, 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 you, you, you come on at me one more time like that. <laughs> I'm going to bring this sandwich to Jersey. No, go ahead. Do it. Do it. Because, because to come on here and to, and to give education – to two Northeast guys about bagels, and then you say you go Nicky, to you know what I need to give you education on? It's your wallpaper behind you. Make it fit the whole screen, okay. not just half, okay. you know, on each and side. Now, and now we're coming at low blows because because you know I'm right. You came on, you gave you gave your, your, your take on the bagels. The pantry boys can't full, afford a full backdrop here? You, you said, <laughs> not yet, not yet. You said my go-to bagel is a cheddar jalapeno bagel. I mean, what the fuck are you doing Wait, talking but, about bagels? No, but, 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 TC, Nick. is that for the breakfast? Do you match that up with the breakfast sandwich? That's, that's no, the breakfast you know, sandwich. That's the breakfast sandwich. He throws mustard on it, too. Yeah, okay. he throws yeah. mustard yeah. And on then, it, too. And then what do you oh do for the, if it's just the cream cheese? Just the cream cheese. I like a cinnamon bagel. I knew he was going to say it. I knew yeah, he was going to say it. Or like an everything bagel with a jalapeno okay. cream cheese. Okay. I, I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that at all. Let me ask you, TC. Okay. <laughs> You like fennel seeds on your everything bagel? Fennel seeds? Yeah, you know what fennel seed is? It tastes like no. licorice? No. Okay. All right. I, I gained a little bit more respect for you after that answer. Good. Is, is the, because you're, I, a, you're a big guy, though, TC. Does one bagel do it for you? Uh, breakfast sandwich, one. Uh, bagels with cream cheese, I put down three or four. Yeah, I could do that easy. Yeah. I, I like that play. And I just want to counter real back, real quick back to the 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 acai real quickly. That almost seems like it's not enough for you. I see on the stories you have the acai, which is usually doubled down by something else. So that's the only oh, thing yeah. I have after a workout. I, the acai to me is not getting it done. That's, that's, so that's before the workout, Robbie. You got to go acai before the workout. You do an acai prior. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah, prior. Interesting. 
Very interesting. And then yeah, then afterwards you do like the protein toast. Okay. Okay. And then okay. He, he, he follows it up with a jalapeno cheddar bagel <laughs> with uh with mustard. Well yeah. Nicky, I, Nicky. I, I can't wait for you to bring little Nikki down here, man. No, I, no, but you see what it is. You see what it is, DC? It just I just I can't believe the set of balls you got to come on to this <laughs> podcast with two northeast guys and just and just say something like that. But hey. Hey, I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna tell you a lot of Northeast foods, a lot of a lot of hype, a lot of overrated stuff oh, up there. Because you guys, you guys, you, you guys, goes. you guys are Knicks fans. You guys are Jets fans. You guys think everything is good. So, uh, <laughs> so, so let me ask you though, TC, if you say you know us Northeast, we could say we got the bagels, we got the pizza. What's one thing you being a Florida guy? What what do you like to hang your hat on when you talk Florida? We got seafood, and, and, and New York's gonna claim it too. But I went over there and had the, the, the Zeno. You know, I had the brand Zeno. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 More, yeah. more fish house. Whack. Terrible. Can't fight that. I, no, I, no, I, I can't know. fight that. But, but you see what we did, Bob? You see how we knew our place? You know, we can't fight the seafood because he's from Florida. But totally. then again, he's going to come out here and fight but, but, the bagels. But, but, but Nikki, this goes back to what I was saying earlier. Y'all think Northeast. everything is good up there. I'm not Northeast. saying that. You guys think the Knicks are still good? You think the Jets are still good? <laughs> now, now you're making the personal attacks. Back. No, now you're making personal I'm just saying, like, we know our place. Like, we're not going to talk about – we're not going to debate you on seafood. You're from Florida. Just Nikki, how, like, Nikki. you're going to say the best oh, bagel. Come to my spot. Come okay. to my spot. Man. Oh, no, okay. I think – all right. I think we got to hold them to it. I, I think, no, look, I'll do it. No, I'll do it. you see, you know, with my parents being down in Jupiter, you know, I'll be down there. I'll take the pantry boys on a food tour. Okay. Okay. Now we're, now we're talking. Now we got it. We got a series right there. I'm open. There to it is. It. I'm open to it. Okay. He's hanging his hat on it. We'll have, we'll have acai bowls. We'll have, we'll have the bagels. We'll even get a workout in to see Robbie die. Oh, um, yeah. these workouts that he does, and he's, I don't know how you could sweat that much in your own garage. It, it is like, it is to sweat that much. In your, you know, you could do workouts in your living room, but you don't go dripping sweat in your living room. No, it's crazy. Yeah, I've seen a picture. Yeah, kind of crazy, TC. I mean, it is, just, it, it is ridiculous. You know, it's, yeah, it's absurd. We were down yeah. there, in, we were visiting in Florida, and, and the whole time we were going to work out, I think it was on a Sunday at Tyler's, I couldn't even enjoy Friday and Saturday because I was so worried about the workout on Sunday. And guess what, Nikki? Guess what, Nikki? He still didn't show up. Didn't show up. Uh, no, I'm not shocked. I'm not yeah, shocked. I'm not shocked. I'm not shocked. Well, TC, we love you. We appreciate you. Although you match your, your jalapeno bagels with I mustard. Did. Yeah, this is the pantry boys. You this is why we do hey, it. This is I'm why looking we do forward it. to educating the pantry boys on a food tour in, in uh, Jupiter. You guys let me know when uh, you guys can book it and when you guys can get Nikki a, a full backdrop. He calls uh, it like he sees it. Tyler Cameron, we appreciate you, brother. This is why I'll we see do you, it. Be good. Take it easy. Later. All right, folks, there you have it. Tyler Cameron, Nikki Meets. Let me ask you. What bothers you more, the fact that he did the jalapeno bagel or the fact that he took a shot at your background? Well, I got to be honest. Uh, it was, it was, you know what it was? It wasn't that it wasn't that he took a shot. It was, it was the fact that it had to get to that point. You know what I mean? Like, like, like I was talking shit about the the take he had and like the food bagels, and he decided to make it a little bit personal and attack the background I got going on. And 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 I gotta be honest with you, Bob. Now it makes me not want to move the background at all. Well, be, you know what? Quite fair. You know, it actually trickles down and now affects me because my my background creates the illusion that my wall is brick, brick. because your brick is so shitty. People <laughs> now look at my brick and know that my brick isn't actually it, brick. Because of your background. Because of my shitty, shitty. Don't. You know what this actually is? I went to Staples and it's a, uh, it's a, it's like a three panel thing. Like you do with like a science project. And it yeah. Kind of I, yeah. Out. And it's great. I just don't think you got enough of it. Yeah. I didn't get enough of it. You no, didn't, I didn't get, get enough. I, I, and I thought, and you know what? I thought I got too much too, which is the sad part. Yeah. Honest. I've done that before with these, back, but, but yeah, now my background is now been affected because what people would have thought is a brick wall. They now know. And I apologize for that. I, yeah. I sincerely apologize. That's for okay. That. That's okay. Maybe Tyler Cameron should apologize for calling it out. I mean, and, that and maybe really... Tyler Cameron should apologize for thinking he knew what he was talking about when it comes to bagels and proper bagel etiquette. They, I will, I will say the, the, the mustard thing, the was yellow wild. mustard thing was, was, was 
just there's just no excuse for the for mustard like thing was 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 totally totally. I mean, bad. you know what it was like. You know, it was, like, it was like me showing up to the rec center, okay, and LeBron and Steph Curry are there shooting free throws, and I say, "Hey, Bron, do me a favor." Maybe get a little more arc. <laughs> yeah. on How about that? How about we get a little more? How are you going to come on? Well, you know what? These if guys and start talking shit about bagels and well, say your favorite bagel is a jalapeno cheddar bagel. What I will say is that I I think okay the the uh, ketchup thing with the ketchup with the bagel is that is a northeast thing. I get yeah, that. Salt yeah, pepper yes. ketchup is a northeast thing. Fine. But he countered, if you're going to counter the salt, pepper, ketchup, you counter with mustard? With mustard? With yellow mustard? Not even I, Dijon. On, I mean, on, by the way, yellow mustard. Now, if, if we're doing a, a um, the bagel sandwich with uh, turkey and all that stuff, no problem. Put the mustard. No he the was mustard talking on. a breakfast sandwich. He said a breakfast sandwich he puts yellow mustard on. It just again, it's a I mean, it, there's Florida. To me, there's no, yeah, there's no Florida excuse. just has some strange, strange character. I bet he, I bet he enjoys pineapple on pizza. Probably does. Probably, probably does. Probably prefers Pro- it. Probably, probably, yeah, probably prefers, prefers it. Over, it. Yeah, over it's cheese pizza. Plain slice over the plain. And, that, and, and that's a problem. And I, I feel as if that's a problem. If Tyler Cameron went to a pizza shop and they said, "Unfortunately, we don't have cheese. We only have pineapple," he would be okay with that. He would be completely. He'd say, "You know what?" Great. You know what I he would say? You see, and, and I've known Tyler for a while now. He's going to tell you how he feels. He's yeah, not going to sugarcoat it. Yep, I yep. love that. And I, pre- I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Adam. Very and, odd and, take and, with the mustard. If I liked mustard yeah, on my breakfast you know sandwich, what he did? I wouldn't have said that. But you know what he did? It's exact, he, he said it as if that's the way. Like, that's the way. Yeah. yeah that's no, how he said it. I know. He said he likes mustard on it. And it almost as if you're whack if you don't like you mustard. You don't like mustard. He sandwich. might be the only guy in the world that puts mustard on his breakfast sandwiches, but he's going to make you, who likes salt, pepper, ketchup on an everything bagel, feel like the asshole. Maybe it's not. Uh, maybe it says something about me, but if I like mustard on my breakfast sandwich, even if it was the pantry boys, I would not. I would never. I would never come out of my mouth. Nobody would ever I know it. I know the it's only, a terrible taste. The only person that would know is the person who put the mustard on my sandwich. Exactly, and that's how it should be. But, Nick, again, a lot of credit to TC for sticking to his guns. I, I tell you, I really like guns. I, I, he's he's I a like. great guy, and I, I like him. I, I love me I, some I, Tyler yeah. Cameron. You know what he um, does? He, he, he busts your balls a little bit, but it's like, a you know what I mean? It was, it was good. He's oh, good. He, he, he's, he's a guy's guy. Yeah, he's a guy guy's guy. Great. I mean, he's great. Ladies and – and by the way, before we move on, is he not – the best looking guy you've ever I gotta seen. Be honest, I got to be honest with you, Bob. I mean, he comes on the screen and it's just like, wow. I mean, I mean, he, he's, he's handsome. I, <laughs> I mean, you know he, what he was just chilling. Like he, he just came back from a bike ride and, and he's, he looks like a million bucks. He, he, he's a big FaceTimer too. Some people are FaceTimers. They're, they're callers. You're a big FaceTimer. I love the FaceTime. And he'll call me, he'll FaceTime me. And I'm, I'm always fucking disheveled. Yeah. Yeah. I, <laughs> Oh my God, it's I mean, ridiculous! It's, it's unbelievable. And those are the guy, like those guys, one in a million. Like you, you don't, you don't really find the guy who just facetimes you right when he gets up, and, and he looks like he's show, going to a GQ it, show. It, I mean, it it's kinda, out of control. It, 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 he's so good looking that it sucks to hang out with him because you're. You know, so I could see second, that. You know what yeah. I mean? No, no one's looking at you. Yeah, he's six he foot. Good. He's jacked. He likes mustard on his bagels. You know what I mean? Uh, Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we keep the ball rolling. It's me and your time here, Nikki Meats. Let's oh, come out firing. Guy. Big I thanks tell you to what. Tyler Cameron coming huge aboard. Shout, huge, huge shout out to Tyler Cameron. But I got to tell you, Bob, I just love it when it's you and me. I love, it's, I love, I love bringing a guest on. It's great. And then the guests, you know, they say their piece, but this, this now is it's go like time. It. And it's go time. And we're now it's go time. Let's fire away. We're going to start off with you, Nikki Meats. Give your food hot take. So my, it's more, it's not really a hot take this time. It's more of like a list. I need a top three. It's one of a top three one. Okay. And um, you're going to have to put your thinking cap on. Sure. I want your top three favorite cold cuts. Not just cured meats. You could stick a cheese in there. You could, you could do whatever you want. Top three. When you go into the deli, can I get a half a pound of this? Can I get a half a pound of that? What are you getting a half pound of or a pound? Okay. All right. I'm ready for you. I think I'm ready for you that fast. I think I'm ready for you. Respect. I I, I can't wait. 
I'm going Preju one. Wow. Huge, huge wow. Preju guy. I'm going, I'm going Preju one. I'm going, this might be a cold take, no pun intended. I'm going Turkey two. No, love nothing me. to say about that. I, I, go ahead. I'll let you love finish. me some sliced turkey. Uh, and then ahead. three, um, love me some provolone. Okay. Love me. Okay. Love me some provolone. Okay. And, and you know, you, you strike me as a provolone guy. You really huge, do. Huge, huge, huge. And I got to be honest, the, the prosciutto take, I mean, love it. It, it takes guts to say it's that. Like, and it's I, like, I respect the hell out of it. It's like, but to me, prosciutto is like the. Uh, king crab of the sea. It just tastes oh. like butter. It just goes down so easily. It's and, just and that's it. it, it no, it goes down super easily. Oh, it's fantastic. It's there's no other way to describe it. Prosciutto goes down the easiest out of any cured meat I've ever had in my entire life. Yeah, I yeah, whole, so I true. Eat a half pound, no problem. No, no without problem. without question. So good on a sandwich too. My God. I, oh my. And you know what it is too about the prosciutto? It's that it, it's it's very well complemented by a lot of a lot of other foods. You know what I'm saying? Oh, for sure. It's, it's salty and the texture is nice. You yeah. know what I'm saying? They're, and then like if you if you put some cantaloupe, you ever have prosciutto and cantaloupe? Now that is bold. No, no, it's a real thing. Melon, melon and cantaloupe they complement each other very well. I'm prosciutto you, and cantaloupe. Yes, yes, yes. So you put now melon. this is a, this is your field. This is your alley. I yes. can't even, I can't even comprehend that. I, yeah, yeah. So I, I felt the same way, and and me and my buddies were talking about it, and and I tried it, and I wrapped a piece of cantaloupe in prosciutto, and I gotta tell you, it, it they just complement each other very, very well. It's like ricotta cheese and honey. Like it's really, it, so, it sounds like a wild concoction. Wild. When you put it on a piece of bread, I mean, it, it's out of control. Will you put the cantaloupe no, on no, the I'm, bread? No, no, I'm saying the the regatta and honey, but like I gotcha. But but the cantaloupe and the prosciutto, you wouldn't think went together at all. I mean, you say it to someone, you get the exact like what, and then you try, and it's like okay, we might have. Yeah, some. you look meats. It's one of those things where this is your field for sure. So I wouldn't question if you gave it to me. I would try it. Cannot even comprehend how 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 that works. Yeah. Mickey meats, take it away. Top three cold cuts. Turkey, number one. Wow. Okay. Well, well, okay. Like to me, turkey, I can I and here's why. Like I could eat turkey sliced at it like straight from the thing, just as you could eat prosciutto. It's good on a sandwich. Okay. And if you get if you get a good guy behind the thing that slices the turkey real well, because sometimes you'll go into a place and a guy doesn't know what the fuck he's doing back there. He gives you the most disheveled looking half pound of turkey ever seen in your life. Isn't it amazing though how the angle of the cold cut, like it's still yeah. the same one, but yeah. can taste that much better yes. based yes. on how it's sliced? When I when I get, I tell you, nothing bothers me more. In this world, when I when I asked a guy for a half pound of turkey, I said, "Don't cut it, don't cut it too too thick or too thin, right in the middle." Yeah. And then you get back, it's like, it's like, oh, it looks all crumpled up. You know what I mean? It look, it looks like it look. You go to take a slice, and a quarter of the slice comes off. The rest is sticking on the other half pound of turkey. Yeah. That drives me insane. And and I don't know if that's a mental thing or if it really does. It's not going to taste the- as good. No, it's not going to taste it as good. No, it it's doesn't. No, it doesn't. It's not going to taste as good. And you know what? Nine times out of ten, it's a dry turkey. It's a dry turkey that gets that gets all fucked up because of the guy you cut it. When you get a nice slice of turkey, okay, and you and when you take the slice off, right, it it, it comes right off. That's a moist turkey, Bob. That's, yeah. it's, it's a moist turkey. And you then I think it it's a great take, meats. And and I'm learning. I'm actually learning about. Yeah. About this, as we go, it also proportions the sandwich if you put it on a sandwich perfectly. Yeah. Yes, exactly right. Because because a good sandwich, you'll notice the guys who make the good sandwiches, they kind of do one of these moves to get the turkey on there. They don't just throw the turkey on flat. They right. Give it, they give it a little, give it a little one of these, and and it kind of the turkey kind of floats on to the bread. You can't do that with a shitty cut yeah. piece of turkey. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And and it just holds a special place in my heart because I, I I just eat so much of it. Now number two, I gotta go. I gotta go with roast beef. 
I, I, I do. I really got. I didn't go see that beef. coming. Did because not see that coming. I love steak. Steak is 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 my favorite food, known to men, right? But you can't throw on a fourteen ounce ribeye whenever you're hungry. You know yeah, what I'm that's saying? yeah. So so your alternative. But you could slide into that in, into the fridge, and you could pull out a half pound of roast beef. Yeah. Throw a little mayo on there. You have yourself the time of your life. Roast beef, in a way, is the lunchtime steak. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. And that's why. And that's why I love it because I like the taste. Like I like like beef is my favorite kind of meat. Then it's followed by chicken. Um, I can't eat. I I really don't like turkey, but I like sliced turkey, which is very interesting. And finally, my third one. And this is gonna this is gonna be like really. I like sliced uh, white American cheese. I don't I, I see I don't I don't see anything wrong. I you know as, as an Italian guy yourself, I thought you'd go a little more exotic. No, no I, I'm a tra- when it comes to a sandwich, I'm like a tra- I like I like the traditional turkey roast beef and then like well, what do you cheese. so what do you match the roast beef? What condiment mainly mayo. goes on the roast beef? It's it is the it, mayo. It, huh? It's always gonna be mayo for me. It's always gonna be mayo for me. And 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 also I do like if you take the roast beef and then you take that white American cheese, first of all, I love white American cheese because my, I tell you, one of my favorite things to do is to open up that white American cheese and just flip up one slice and do a little fold over, take half of that slice and just slap sure. it on my tongue. You know sure. what I mean? You ever, you ever take it and, and it's never, you never take a bite of it. You slap it on your tongue. You're never going to take a bite out yeah. of a slice of cheese. You're going to slap it on the top of your tongue. And that's one of my most favorite things to do. Let me ask you, Meats. Do you, being a roast beef guy, a place that, that gets ridiculed, and I get it, it's on a fast food level, but a place that gets ridiculed that I don't think should get the hate that they do, mind you, in a fast food term, is Arby's. I, and I knew you were going to say that. Do I'm you have an issue food. with Arby's? I've never had Arby's. Okay, I'd be so. I, I, I've never had Arby's. They do. They do. Arby's. Um, they do curly fries. Yeah, the the roast yeah. beef is good, and and the the, the place just gets shit. You want to shit on fast food? Shit yeah. on Long John Silver. Yeah, shit are. on all these. I like Arby's. You I, know? Yeah, yeah. No, I I could see that. And you know what it is too. Jersey Mike's is kind of the same deal. Like Jersey Mike subs. You ever have Jersey Mike's? I th- I like Jersey Mike subs a lot. They say it. They they say it's a sub sub above. I wouldn't go that far, okay? But it's a great sandwich for it's that really level of sandwich. sandwich absolutely, a sub absolutely. above. Absolutely, absolutely. You know and what? By the way, do you know somebody who's totally lost whatever momentum they've had? Jersey Mike's run circles around them. Oh no! Don't tell me. Is it Firehouse Subs? No, 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 no. I'm curious nah, I, about I was gonna Firehouse. Say, I was going to say Firehouse Subs pretty good. Are Firehouse they? I got to try it. I see it on yeah, Postmates. Fire- Haven't done it. Yeah, Firehouse Subs pretty good. And you know what it is about Firehouse Subs is you just feel like you're part, part of the part of the firehouse. Oh, you, know I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, uh, you feel like you're going to you're part of the camaraderie. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You, you, feel like, you feel like you want to call the, the person making the sandwich by their last name. You know what yeah. I mean? Oh, you make me, uh, you know what I mean? Make me the third. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, but, but you know what? Yeah, I, I mean, I got to try Firehouse. I think Jersey Mike's is very good. I think Subway is really? atrocious. And I think they are getting worse by the day. I think they are deteriorating. And you actually, maybe it was you that gave me a fun that, fact that there are more subways in the world than McDonald's. No way. Yeah. I didn't tell you that. There's yeah. No way I told you that. Yeah. Again, we got to get a fact check by Benny the Jet, but, but I'm, I, I'm, I'm almost I, positive that that's a fact. You know, now that you mentioned it, I feel like I've seen a shit ton of subways I know. all over the place. You know what it is about the subways, though? Is that like McDonald's? You could see the golden arches from a mile away. Because yeah, subway, yeah, yeah. subway, subway. <laughs> you don't fucking know. Like you got no fucking clue. You pull into a shopping center, and and, and it's like you got the supermarket, you got Hallmarks, and then oh, there's a fucking subway. subway I, know, just, I don't even know. It just it just pops it up just, on. It you. just creeps up on you. Yeah, it, I mean it, it, it creeps up. You yeah. turn your back and you see a subway. Yeah. And sometimes, sometimes <laughs> too with the subway. Like, like I said, McDonald's has the golden arches and their colors are, are, are red and yellow and whatever. 
sometimes you go to a subway and the letters are in red. Yeah. <laughs> so wait a second. I thought this was green and yellow. I thought the subway was supposed to be green and yellow. The letters are in red. And 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 subway cannot figure out if they want to be 24 hours or not. They exactly. can't figure it and out. They, they think, out. you know, do we do breakfast? Do we not do breakfast? Some has breakfast, what. some doesn't. Yeah, no, I tell you what, it's a very confused joint. It really is. Yeah, like they're, they're totally. You go but into a firehouse subs and you're like, fuck yeah. You go into a subway. I like, well, what is firehouse? It? You know what time they open. You know what time they close. I think Subway's getting worse by the day. I used to love it. Uh, I just think it, they are deteriorating as a franchise. Great take, though, because the Subways do pop up on you they out of nowhere. Out of, no, out of nowhere. We, no one's letting you know where the hell the Subway Next is. thing you know, you're in a Subway. Next thing you know, you're online getting a foot long. All right, mates, we, we, we keep it moving along here on the pantry, boys. This is episode two, but I'm going to fire at you, okay? And I think I know the answer to it, but there are people with different um, takes on this. I want to get it out there. If you could do without one, breakfast, lunch, or dinner, what would you do without? I mean, that's that's a loaded question, Bob. You could do without you, one. You get rid of breakfast, you get rid of lunch, or you get rid of dinner. I, first of all, I love breakfast. Oh, so this just got very interesting. <laughs> this just got very, very interesting. Because I thought the sure thing was no, Oh, no. No, no, no. I mean, I love breakfast. I I go to bed at night. Thinking about I breakfast. Cannot wait, cannot wait to get up and eat breakfast. That's so, like my favorite. I would say breakfast is my favorite meal of the day. So you got to get rid of lunch then, no? Yeah, but, but then, okay, so so here I'm, I'm at a crossroads, right? Here's what's going on in my brain. I got dinner that I love, right? I love dinner, but I also, when I think about lunch, I think about like a, like a chicken Caesar wrap. And I'm starting oh. to get the, like the, you know what I mean? I'm starting to get the taste buds. I'm starting to feel a chicken Caesar wrap in my hands as I'm talking about it. I could feel, you know, taking your first bite and, and like your tongue like gets a little bit of the Caesar dressing as you take your first bite, the crunch of the lettuce and, and, and a perfectly grilled chicken wrapped so up beautifully. In sounds that like you're having a hard time getting rid of lunch though. Nikki meets. I can't just get rid of lunch. I can't. I you love lunch. get rid of dinner. Does Nikki meets get rid of dinner? It sounds like he's getting rid of dinner. Well, here, well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Dinner, okay? Like you can have like you can have a burger for lunch. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You you can't have a steak for lunch. Like you can't have a steak and potatoes for lunch. Okay, True. so that's You can out. have roast beef. You can have roast beef. You can have roast beef. And you can have wings too for lunch as well. Yeah. I think I'm getting rid of dinner. He's getting, I think I'm getting rid of dinner. I think I'm getting rid of dinner wow. because you can have like my favorite foods are steak, burgers, wings, pizza. You could have all those except for steak at lunchtime. Nobody, and I mean nobody, saw this coming. I don't even think I saw it coming, to be you know, honest. You know, it's such a tough question. You know what? It's I so tough. With 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 lunch that I try and be more cognizant about, and you don't have to worry about it with dinner. The only issue that I have with with going big on the lunch, if you go big on the lunch, it's so hard to get by the rest of your day. You're right. When You're you right. go to dinner, you can go nuts. Your day's You're over. Right. You're right. I feel, and I also feel as if I could get over to the mid afternoon hunger hump because I know that I'm gonna have dinner. Like, yes. You get, yes. rid of, you get rid of dinner. Lunch, lunch is coming right after breakfast. Lunch is coming right after the omelet I just ate. So if I'm going to eat back to back two hours apart, three hours apart, I'm not eating for another 16 hours. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Which is why the dinner thing to me is shocking. Me, the breakfast, the reason I, I do without breakfast, I wake up in the morning. I'm not hungry. Not I'm not hungry. looking You're not hungry. forward See, to I'm starving. I got so many things on my mind. What's going on during the day? What go? Yeah. 
you know, at least lunch, you're already in the, the main gist of your day. Yeah. The, 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 the breakfast, I'm not hungry. Um, I, I, yeah. I don't, I do like breakfast food, but it doesn't excite me. Lunch excites me. I get okay. excited you see, for lunch. You see, I get excited for lunch too, but I also get super excited. I mean, like my, my newest thing, I go through phases and with, with breakfast. So like I'll have a breakfast that I stick to and I look forward to that breakfast every morning. And recently I've been looking forward to, to, I make eggs. I make like four or five eggs over easy. I get a couple pieces of toast. That's a get... shit ton of eggs. Listen, you see these things? Okay. Holy you shit. The, yeah. You see, you see the traps? That's a lot. Of, it's a lot of eggs. It's a lot of eggs. And, but I, 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 I look forward to it. And then I get this fresh fruit. I mean, nothing like lights me up. Yeah. Like freshly cut fruit from like a market that like cuts it fresh every morning. And I just look forward to getting that fresh fruit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, see, and fruit I, doesn't. I get forward to cracking the egg. Hold on, I'm, I'm going in right now. I get full, I look forward to cracking the egg and hearing the, <laughs> when you turn it on, spraying the pan on the pan, lighting yep. the thing up. I look forward to it. I do like the pan about spray. breakfast. The pan spray. I enjoy the morning pan spray. The, the, you know what it is about the morning pan spray? It's you get the plate, and you spray the pan on it, and you just know that nothing, nothing's sticking to this fucking yeah. egg. Yeah. I'm saying to myself, not one fucking egg is going to stick to this pan as I'm spraying the pan on there. You could throw anything on one of them non-stick pans. You spray a little pan on there, nothing's getting stuck. That's fantastic. Absolutely, absolutely nothing. I sometimes even play around with the eggs. I'm not done yet with, with, with the eggs I got going on just to see it move back and forth. You know what I'm saying in the pan? There's nothing like this, the, the pan spray. And I do like to see the egg form from a liquid into yeah. the egg that it becomes. Exactly, exactly, exactly. And, and I got it before we move on. I, I need to I need to share this tip with with whoever's listening. If you ever want to cook a, a perfect egg, because nine times out of ten, what, the, the struggles that I found uh, cooking eggs in the morning is that the bottom will get very cooked first. Right. And I like my egg sunny side up. But I always when I uh, I always have to flip them because the top of the egg doesn't cook as fast as the bottom. So what have I done? I go I get an espresso cup about this big, okay? Espresso cup. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. You take water, right? Once the bottom of the egg is 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 cooked enough, you take that water and you pour it into the pan. You turn the flame off simultaneously and you throw a lid on it. So this now, sounds to me like a soggy egg, though. Me? No, 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 no. No, no, no. So now the steam is circulating in the pan. You with me? Do yeah, I'm with you. Go ahead. Do it with me. Do it with me. The steam is circ yeah. The steam is circulating in the pan. Okay. And yeah. all that heat is gonna cook the top of the egg without cooking the bottom of the egg. So now you get this beautiful white little layer over the top of the egg. That's the egg white that's cooked over the yolk. Just like that, you get the most beautiful sunny side up eggs, and they're not overcooked. They're perfectly you know cooked, what the thing and they don't run. Meats, you could have five eggs in the morning, you could have seven eggs in the morning, you could have 10 eggs in the morning, you're still going to be gonna hungry be, by yep. 11 o'clock. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, no matter what, works. you're that's still going to be hungry by 11. That's the way breakfast is. That's just the way breakfast is. Yeah. But I tell you, one of the more shocking things to come here out of the pantry, boys, is Nikki Meats vetoing dinner. Yeah, veto, no, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to veto dinner. I'm going to veto dinner. Giving the X on dinner, shocking to me. He's he sticks would, by it. Ladies and gentlemen. You know what, though? Not the more I think about I don't know. Like, I, oh, it, it got to you. It, it, it absolutely. You know, you, know what, you know what got to me? It, it was not eating the rest of the day. That got to me. Yeah. That's yeah, I mean. could tell that that stung. Yeah. And again, with the breakfast, you could do 10 eggs. You're still going to be hungry. Be hungry. No what? By 11 o'clock, we keep it moving on, ladies and gentlemen. Moving. Nikki Meats, back to you we go. I want to talk about pizza. Sure. Let's talk pizza. I want to talk about pizza. Let's okay? talk. Let's I let's I let's talk, talk pizza. about it on the first episode. But I said, you know what? Let me let me let me wait until I go absolutely far. Talk pizza. Up. What is your favorite type of pizza? I'm not saying like cheese, pepperoni. What I'm saying Neapolitan football pizza, yeah. dollar slice. Fancy pizza. What's your favorite kind of pizza? I, I for sure to me it's the football pizza. And and okay. I think respect it. I think the dollar slice falls in the realm of football 100%. people, uh, football pizza, because it's that similar, you 100%. know, type of big slice. Um, 
what I like about me, I, I, I am, my answer for you is the football pizza. But what I do like about the Neapolitan pizza, a lot of times, even with football pizza, you will find crust in the box at the end where not everybody filled, eats the crust. I mean, you want to talk about the most phenomenal point. Yeah, when it, it's, when it comes to football pizza, is there? I'm. I could see it now. I could yeah. see it. There's there's a little stringy piece of cheese, and then there's crust in the box. Crust comes into the box. You see the little string of peas that 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 yep, stuck yep, to the box. Yep, they didn't want to come box. with the slice. Yep, they didn't want to come. They, yep, yep. They said we're and not. And that's leaving. their whole lot of crust. To where when you go to throw that pizza box in the recycling, wherever you throw it in the cardboard, you could hear it. You. <laughs> You hear that crust going back and forth, and you wonder, I probably should have thrown out the crust. And 100%. But with, so with the football pizza, you tend to leave the crust. The only thing I will say about Neapolitan, you tend to always finish the crust with the Neapolitan. And, it's, you, t- it's, and it's you tend to finish the whole pizza. Yeah, that for sure. And, and you're not as full. After you have the Neapolitan true, true. pizza. Which is why the Neapolitan goes great with the starter pizza. You could get it as a starter. You could yes, use it yes. as an appetizer, which yes. is a play. And a play you're seeing yes. a whole lot more. And, and Exactly right. You're seeing that play a whole lot more. Like if you go on a date, you want to impress the person you're with? Yeah, start, okay. a, start a pizza. First, first of all, you take over the men. You say, listen, I, I got it. Don't worry. Mm-hmm. You know, the person comes on. I got it. Don't worry. Yeah, we're going to. We're going to split a, a, a personal pie for to start. Yep. When you do that, right? Because now you're waiting on the pizza. Now you can, now you can converse. And then they bring over that little, that little uh, gondola thing that, that holds the <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, 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 you, now you got a conversation, and you're talking over the slice of pizza, but both of you are looking at the slice of pizza saying, like, do you really you see how, what we got going on? How here? great is it when that thing comes There's, to the there, table? Bob, Bob, there is no greater feeling. I mean, oh, not even, like, what do you we call in, it? You called it a gondola? The, the gondola. I don't know what it's called. It's I, like a zigzag, and it just yeah, sits. Yeah, like uh, like in it, like uh, like a cheese stutter. They take they take you, put it down. That oh, thing. it's such Back a in little league when we would go out after the games to the pizza joint, and a nice lady would come over with three of them fucking things, and she put it down one, two, three with the big Coke. You know what I'm talking uh, about the picture of Coca Cola. Oh, it's I mean, such a sign. Even before <sighs> I've got my food. To see another table that's got that down, I feel so happy. I'm so happy. I feel so happy. I, feel so happy. <laughs> I say, wow, well, good for them. You know, good. <laughs> I feel so happy when I look over and I'm seeing one of them things go on someone else because you just know that they're about to have the time of their life. Yeah. I mean, oh, my. Every, you're so happy for them. about to get so much better. Yeah. I percent agree. You're so happy for them. My favorite, I'm a Neapolitan thing. I like a simple pizza. I like a very, I'm a pizza purist. I think pizza should be sauce, cheese, and crust. I think it should be light and fluffy and, 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 and whatnot. But I have to talk about the birthday party pizza when you're in middle school and you go to the kid's house. And you guys are sweating, and you're and you're playing pickup basketball, and you got God, the one kid, bite. you got you you got the one kid who hit puberty faster than everyone else, and he's got sweat dripping down all over here. Everyone smells like shit, and the pizza man comes with the fucking four slice, four boxes of pizza. You put it down, and that first slice of pizza. And when he opens that cover when, that they oh use, like the, the is that when they uh, when that Velcro comes off. When and that Velcro when cracks it, off, wow. It's like, it's like, holy shit. Everything you, hits oh, you. Everything hits you. And, and you just sit there. You got like a Coca-Cola. You smell like balls. And everyone's sweaty. You're talking about God knows what. There's always that one kid that's sweating more than everybody else. And you're just uh, eating the pizza. And, and, and the it's birthday- the most disgusting thing. It, it just doesn't look sanitary what you're doing. Your hands are all fucking But dirty. it doesn't matter. But it doesn't, you know, there ain't a care in the world yeah. going on. And, when and, you and got the, the birthday the, pizza. The pizza party pizzas are always the football pizzas. It's always a foot. You're not getting, you're not getting, I mean, there's going to be, there's going to be tons of crust. And no, it, if, if there's a mother out there that hosts a party for their son and she orders Neapolitan pizzas, we need She's to a jerk look, off. She's yeah. a jerk off. <laughs> we need to look into that immediately. Nikki meets. I'm gonna. I, I I came at you hard with the breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah, you know, that really, yeah, that really threw me for a loop. I, I could tell. I could tell that there was a lot going on in your head. Yeah. 
Yeah. And and we really made it to the point where we there was a time where we in the beginning of the lives when we did started the Pantry Boys on Instagram Live, we would kind of have an idea of where we were going to go. We prefer it without having any idea. Yes. Yes. Without having catch any us off idea. guard. Catch yes. us where we don't see it yes. coming. Yes. I'm gonna. I, I'm, I'm still unsure of my answer, Bob. I, I that hit you hard, and that's it, the beauty I, of it, is to watch us kind of go through it, and that's why we do it. This that's is this right? Is why we do it. Week in, week out, Nikki Meats. We're going to talk about the things that most people won't. Exactly. We love food. Our we, people we love food. The, the listeners they love food. Everybody loves food. How do you not love food? You know and I mean? we're here for you week in, week out. To close it down, Nikki Meats, um, what is a signature dish, okay, that you either add a bizarre ingredient to or topping that most people don't or take away? One or the other. I actually got one that, that I'm going to take away. That's a, first of all, Bob, I mean, you really, I mean, that was a great question. That felt I mean, good. I, I, mean, good I, I mean, that was a great question. No, that really was. That was, a, that was a great question. I mean, that's, I mean. I felt so good coming yeah, in. Yeah, no, that episode. was, I mean, hats off to you because yeah. that was such Thank a you. great question. Thank you. I that really, really, really that, felt good. Oh man, this guy's being thrown through the ringer today. <laughs> Nikki Meats is really getting it on. I'm today. sweating. No, I'm sweating. No, I, I really am. <laughs> Can you give me just one second? Yeah, yeah no, it, look, it's a. It, it, you want me to do this, Nikki Meats? How about I start for you? Yeah, start for me. Sure. Please, cause, yeah, because I, I, yeah. In, in instead of busy. instead of add. I think that most people would know right away something that they add to something. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna do take away. Okay. And what I take away is the cheese in my omelet. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I and again, I know that's bizarre. I get that that's not ordinary. It's like Tyler Cameron with his fucking mustard. Now let me, okay, but let me ask. Let me ask you. Sure. Ask, why? Why do you want to take out the cheese? Because you run the risk of who's ever making your omelet. And by the way, when I'm thinking of the omelet right now, where I am yeah. is at a hotel or an all-inclusive breakfast buffet, okay. and they got okay. an omelet maker. I mean, that's great. I mean, that's that's that's, that's where I am right now. And that's okay. an interesting time because I, I I just wonder how I, sick the person gets of the omelets. I, constantly. I know. I, there's, but oh, I got when I see that guy and he's got the uniform on and he's got the hot plates and there's all the, and there's all the the things you can put in the omelet. I mean, I, it's like Christmas time for me. I can't wait to go up there. And but say, I Listen, think buddy. those omelet guys, I think they enjoy it at first, the first and two hours, and, get, and then they just get sick. Yeah, I find the omelet process is a very therapeutic process, especially watching somebody make it. You know, that's a great point. I, I could, I you know what it's like? It's like. Uh, it's like people that color, like do like coloring books. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's yeah. very therapeutic. Make it an omelet. You know, if you're ever going through a hard time, just take out three eggs and make an omelet. Yeah. Or watch somebody make an omelet. Watch it. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. I could watch someone make an omelet for hours. It's so, so fascinating. Absolutely. It, and it just really, it's, it's very soothing. Um, but that's where I am. I'm at a hotel. It's a, a breakfast buffet. All you can eat. Um, you do the omelet. I just think you run the risk of them putting on too much cheese. And a too cheesy omelet to me is just immediately not a good omelet. It's yeah, not so you know what it is about cheese and about like dairy? When yeah. I eat too much of it, I feel gross. Like I feel like I just yeah, feel like, like a, a, gr a gross fuck whenever mm -hmm. I you know what I mean? Yeah, I, and and I don't like like if you cut into the omelet, I don't want to see cheese running out. You know what I mean? Let me yeah. find the cheese. Yeah, why don't you know what? You know what? Let leave it up to me. To yeah, find I'll it. find it. I'll find the cheese. I'll find the cheese. No problem. I'll come to the cheese. The cheese doesn't have to come to me. The, the cheese don't gotta come to me. No. The cheese don't gotta come to never me. Never had to. It, it never, never had. It never had to because ultimately, as you're eating that omelet, the cheese is gonna find you. It's gonna find you. Think about a slice of pizza that doesn't have too much cheese on it. Maybe a little uh, more. That's so great. You, uh, you, you find the cheese. You find the cheese. You, you don't you, gotta. At some point or another, the cheese is gonna. You're gonna find it. You're gonna find the cheese. You're, you're gonna, gonna find, find the, cheese. the cheese. You'll always find the cheese. You think I'm gonna get through that omelet and not find the I cheese? Not find the cheese. You're gonna be out of your mind. Just a little cheese. I, I honestly, at first, I was like, is he out of his mind? 
But now thinking about it, you're right because you do you do run the risk of someone just over cheesing the whole operation. Totally. And with three eggs, usually the omelets are three eggs, unless you got the they got the pot and they got the scooper. Yeah. It's really not that much egg. You know right. what I mean? It's about what you put in there. Yeah, I wanted to. I figured if I took you in my headspace and rather than me in my kitchen making doing the home cheese yeah, stuff, yeah. Let me take you to yeah. that hotel give breakfast. It, give, it, give it to somebody buffet. else. Give it to somebody now, else. Now, Nikki Meats, this has got been a lot of mental wear and tear for yeah, you. No, this is, okay? yeah, this, yeah, yeah. You had uh, to eliminate dinner. It's been a lot. Add or subtract hot takes only. Nikki Meats, we're ready for you, pal. I ain't toasting a bagel. Whoa. <laughs> I ain't toasting a bagel. Wow. I'm not toasting a bagel. Wow. I, I, could, I could do without. I could do without. The wow. Toast and bagel. I could do without it. I really could. Now, what do you get that you like so much without it being toasted? What, what's steering you away from toasting? Bacon, egg, and cheese, salt, pepper, ketchup. Don't you even think about putting that thing in the toaster. Really? Bagel, bagel with cream cheese. Don't even think about you putting don't, that thing You in the don't toaster. want that crunch? No, because if the bacon, egg, and cheese is good enough. You're going to get the crunch from the bacon. I want to be able to differentiate me biting my teeth Fair. into the bagel and then biting into the crunchy bacon. Uh, I don't want to have the bagel overcompensate for the goodness that's uh, inside of the bagel. Okay. You're backing yourself up yeah, no, very well yeah. right now. And, and, when it nice. comes, and when it comes and when it comes to a, um, a, a toasted bagel with cream cheese or any kind of cream cheese, I could, I could a hundred percent do it out. You want to know why? Because nine times out of 10, they're going to toast that bagel. Right. And the bagel is going to be smoking hot out of the toaster. And they're going to take that ice cold cream cheese and they're going to smear it all on there. And what's going to end up happening is the cream cheese is going to get soft, right? It's going to get really soft and it's going to get really droopy, okay? You're going to take a bite of that cream cheese and you're going to have cream cheese going all the way over here. Not, yeah. not, not because there's too much, but because it was soft, it was melted. That's why, because you took a bite of the bagel that was hot that melted the cream cheese. So to be honest, I think I could do without my bagel ever being toasted unless we throw butter on there. If we throw butter on there, then then we got we got because then that's like toast. You know what I'm saying? I, I always go with the bagel toasted. I will say with the bacon, egg and cheese, you, you back. The, and, and this was the point of the question is that it is a, it is a hot take. Me, no yeah. cheese in my omelets. You not going toasted with the bagel. Backing that up with the bacon bite when I really thought about that, you yeah. took me to where you were. I thought you backed it up well. There's a place here by out in LA called Pops Bagels. And what they do here, Nikki Meats, is one so they slice the bagel in half. Okay. One side of the bagel they toast, the other they don't. Really? And not many people have thought about that. And I mean, that's it, a great idea. It works incredibly well. Wait, hold on. So wait. So yeah. are you saying like they toast one half of the bagel or like the top or the bottom? Top or the bottom. That's a phenomenal. I idea. know. And what they do is usually the bottom half is the one toasted. Top is not oh, see, toasted. I, I would I would have thought the top is the toasted one. Yeah, I was going to ask you what you prefer, but but I get it to where it's like that soft till you come down, come down, and on that last loop, it's boom. Ah, you see, bacon I don't know. Go, I, Bacon goes on the top. Keep it soft on the top. This That's is why big. we do. This is why we do because I before before this I had no I didn't even think of that. We're who, who we think, think we're learning talk, from each other. The bagel. I mean, this is what we do. This is what yeah. we do. And, and and this pounds bagel, they make an absolute killing. Nobody with and like everybody knows that they do it. And like they nobody genius. genius. Nikki meets whoever the guy I, pop is, whoever pop is good for pop. Good for pop. Good for pop I mean, and I mean, good, good for, pop. good for the guy at the restaurant that has that little pizza stand on. Cause you know, uh, because you, you listen, if I'm opening up a pizza joint, I'm going to say, I need, I need to buy 20 of those pizza stands. Yeah. Because it's just such a, no it's one, a sign of happiness. It's a sign of the pizza stand is a sign of happiness. No one knows the effect no. that it look, look at me. Look like as I'm talking yeah, about me, it, I like when you put that fucking thing down, I, I don't, I don't care. If, if it's uh, if it's in front of me, if it's the people, it just it, it ignites happiness. Well, that's the thing too. Although you wish it was you on the table that it was on, you're still you're, so you're genuinely so happy. happy. Yeah, I'm genuinely excited for that person. Means I tell you this 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 again is indeed why we do why it. we this, do it. This is the pantry boys. 
episode two. We okay. had Tyler Cameron on. Next week, we got KFC from yes, Barstool sir. Sports. Yes, sir. I have a fucking blast doing this. I hope this is unbelievable. Have a blast listening to this. And by the way, Nikki Meats, the people are talking. The people are talking. And Ladies the people and gentlemen, Nick Cassano, Robbie Berger, that does Nine it. Here. And all. Yet another episode of the Panther Boys. Easy.